Hey, you crazy motherfuckers. Welcome back to another edition of Crazy Truth. I am your host with most. I am Cole, and I am here with the lovely, lovely, and obviously chilled and still kind of sleepy, Miss Amanda. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck was hey. that? What was that? Is that better? Holy fuck. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. We'll go with that. What the fuck? Anyways, uh... Careful, don't want you to choke on your whipped cream on your cocoa that I don't have any of. Anyways. <laughs> I put a lot of whipped cream on there. How many points is that? One, One. thank you very much. Fuck anyway, off. you didn't bring me a fucking cookie in nothing. You had one earlier. I figured that was your cookie. I just woke up. Do you know how many points a cookie saying... is for me? Zero. Zero, off. because I'm not doing it. We're not gone. Anyways. So, hey, before I forget, welcome to season four. This is episode 145. Get out your handy dandy notebooks, kids. One, four, five. Bingo. Um, and if you follow along at home. So, uh, but before I forget, let's give a huge shout out to our sponsors. I don't know what word that was. <laughs> you want to say that again? I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Uh, ASM Lifestyle Magazine. Three million sexy swingers read it every single month. Tits may sag, balls may droop, but a brain is a beautiful thing forever. I changed it. Don't even look at me like that. Um, <laughs> B3 million one readers learn about all the comings and goings in the swinger world with ASMLifestyleMagazine.com. Also, don't forget to go on there and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Every single day. You can vote every day. Between now and the end of July. Oh, I forgot something today. Yeah, every day. And you can vote for Crazy Truth in Lifestyle Podcast and Adult Podcast. You can vote for Full Swap Shop in uh, Best Supporting Website and uh, Best Online Retailer. Uh, we You can vote for Crazy Winter Nights for Best uh, Expo and Event. So we're for like eight awards. We want to win them all because fuck everybody else. That's what we want to do. <laughs> Anyways, ASMLifestyleMagazine.com. Uh, and also, you listen to the shows, you read the mag. Come on, motherfuckers, go buy some swag. Fullswampshop.com. We are super excited to announce we are adding two more. Let me say that one more time. Two more. Another show and another adult club have signed up for us to be the, their only and their, their official merchandise thing. And that's on fullswampshop.com. What the fuck does that look for? Because you couldn't spit it out. So I was looking at you, see. <laughs> there, it's a bit better that time. Anyway, so right up time, right after that, we're going to do, uh, on the show tonight, is llamas. <laughs> do it again, and I will hit. <laughs> you hit what? You'll hit it? Yeah. I'll make you mm. gag on this spoon. Ah. Yeah. We're going back to the 80s, kids. It's 80 day at Crazy Truth. No, it's not. Uh, anyways. I like the 80s. I do, too. Ish. I do. I'd fuck saggy old Madonna and just pretend it was like 1984 Madonna. Should like, I do it now? I'm a banger, but I mean, I would still be one of the list. I'd be picturing like pointing tits and not drooping tits and That's whatever. A bra. Actually, I really don't give two fucks. She's worth billions of dollars. I'd try to not. I would tell her I was pregnant afterwards. <laughs> I'm pregnant, just so you know, with your love child, Madonna. You will need to pay me. Pay me, pay me, pay me. Uh, we've got a fun fucking show tonight, actually. Uh, obviously, we're all fucked up because we're not recording on Sunday. We're recording on Wednesday. So this show is actually going to be released tonight, like in a couple of hours. So, like, soon. dun 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 It's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. You don't even give two fucks. You're just over here fucking... You're like... You look like a homeless person on a barrel. Oh, my fucking Lord. Well, here at, here at the Full... Uh, full Swap. No. Here at Crazy True Studios, we don't actually allow heat... <laughs> Uh, I'm Ebenezer, and this is Bob Cratchit, and we'll allow her to use half a piece of coal to keep warm for the entire winter. I die. God. <laughs> I wasn't cold up there. I'll you just make me. It just makes me look like a dick. Like I'm not paying the electric bill. Or no, I'm mean, not having it. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> just no, saying. we keep this side of the house cooler the because side. we sleep with a shit ton of blankets on, we do. so we don't sweat to death. But I forget that the studio. Cold That's in. correct. I wonder if this is, are we hot enough on our mics? Is this too loud? Okay. I turned it down because you were being so loud. Well, don't. We want to make sure people but can I'm hear something. But I'm not up on the microphone, and that oh, drives Lord. you nuts. It does, because then people can't hear, and it just sounds like this loud guy, and whisper, 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 whisper. Isn't that our relationship? <laughs> 
Like, I, my hair is flat on one side, and it's all jacked up. It's, like, flat right there. Say something. Fucking just say it. Oh, my God. Just fucking say it. <clears throat> She's going to attack me with scissors in the middle of the night. It's horrible. Anyways, okay. So, we have a good show. Uh, it's just so curly. Oh, that was the fucking word you were going to go with. Why don't we go ahead and go with the actual word you were thinking? No, I was thinking curly jackass. Really? Yes. I've spent a whole weekend of hearing words like gray. Not from thin, me. From me. Wispy. From me. No, but I heard you cackling right along with them. Cackle, cackle, cackle. I didn't, because it's funny I to listen to your brother make fun of your I hair. I didn't hear you at any point in time go, no, his hair is sexy as fuck. That's not correct. I never heard that once come out of your mouth. Wow, and here we are with the opportunity, and it's still not coming out of I hope tomorrow when you fuck your boyfriend that it fucking, you you pinch a pussy lip with a <laughs> cock ring with his pierced dick thing. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> may you come so hard you have to yelp and walk out into the other room and see people. Anyways... <laughs> All right, so back let's to the... Not, let's not curse it, okay? I'm not going to curse it. We already broke the curse. You shaved your pussy yesterday. I, I made know. sure to fuck you last night so that, that it, to break the curse, the curse of the shaved, the, the fucking shaved pussy and endo sex. I did that for you. I was there for you. I'm a team player. It was slickery. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, maybe you're not paying enough attention, but uh, <laughs> we're also doing this in front of our live uh, secret, secret Facebook group. Oh, fuck me, running. Secret Facebook group, Casba Inc. Shh, don't tell the others. I'm working on enunciation. I've actually had my fill of public speaking for this shit. fucking week. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, that you'll hear them chime in and we'll talk with them as we go through our shenanigans. Shenanigans, shillelaghs. You did a wonderful job. I did, sure. But my hair looked wispy. Anyways, okay, so let's let's Who delve. Who used on. wispy? I don't. I nobody is has uses the vocabulary I use, so I probably heard something like thin and fluffy, and I wouldn't just I put a different word. I'm like a walking. No, I think one of your kids said wispy. Probably. Uh, my kids are idiots. Anyways, uh, I love them dearly. So, uh, okay, so we got a good show. I keep saying that, but then I don't actually get to the show part. So we're going to get to the show part. Did you notice that your uh, readers were in my... What readers are those? Because I have a pair in my bag. My purse. I have multiple readers. I keep them around. They're, they're a lot like drugs. I keep Don't just have one stash in case you lose it. Keep little vials of coke and fucking bag of weed everywhere. You know, I've been watching Twitter today, and all day on Twitter, wow. been, all these people have been like smoking weed on Twitter. They've been sitting there smoking weed. And there are people doing doing lines of coke, on like Who the naked. Who do you follow? I don't know. A lot of porn stuff. Anyways, they were, well, but they were, but there was one. There literally there was a naked couple, and she she did like six lines of coke, and the whole one of the hashtags was coke and sex. Did like six lines of coke, and then that it was like a two minute video of her just fucking blasting line after line, and then she just started sucking dick in the end of the video. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm just like. And and here here's how much of a dumbass I am. I, I watched the whole thing. I think I was so amazed. I'm sitting there watching somebody just do line after line of coke. I'm like, did we go back to the '80s? Is Don Johnson here? What's going on? Where's wow. Tubbs? Where's Tubbs when you need him? Okay. Wow. <sighs> All right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read now. Everybody, it's story time, kids. Uh, so our first question. <laughs> Why are you jumping right into it? <clears throat> Jumping right into it, we've been going for fucking nine minutes. Oh, yeah, we're just plowing right ahead. Look at me, Speed Demon Cole. Oh, give me a chance to wake up. <laughs> Do you need a break so you can go get more fucking cocoa? Am I? Oh, my Lord. It's sugar Take a free. pee. Get over it. I did pee before I came here. You didn't bring the cool up in to give me a dollop. I know. Okay. Uh, all right, this is from Fucked in Atlanta. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So with everything going on, I'm a little behind on my emails and, and shit. So the questions on these are just, yeah, they rock. Anyways, fucked in Atlanta. We need your help. <laughs> We've been in the lifestyle a couple of years. We're actually, we are actually really good in bed. 
I don't know if they take surveys. Do we have exit surveys? We need exit surveys for Apparently. Have sex with people. Uh, anyways, the problem is we hooked up with a couple and it was all wrong. <laughs> we had not had time to really get ready. Uh, like it was supposed to be just drinks. So they were supposed to just go out. They thought it was just drinks. Going to be just drinks. Uh, but they didn't have a chance to get ready like normal. Uh, but uh, we had really wanted to hook up with this couple. They're very popular. Okay. If it could go wrong, it did. I had not shaved and was really fuzzy and had issues. My wife had only done a half-ass freshing up job from a busy day. Now we have a review as a bad fuck and not clean, and it is getting around. How do we stop it? <laughs> How do you get <laughs> Hold reviews? Hold on. Wait, wait. Stop one second. Fucked in Atlanta. <laughs> that's funny. I, I'm sorry. That's funny. Your How Yelp you review reviews? sucks. Well, what? Okay. So what it amounts to, when I reached out to them, and, and I, they sent the email... They sent it to me on, uh, on last Friday. And so, obviously, I was trying to reach out to them today because we've been tied up the past two days. No, we haven't been tied up. <laughs> well, no, no, we haven't. Not in a fun way. But anyways, so they're, they're, the thing is, is this couple is running their mouth. They're very popular. It's a big... So, one... You got a couple problems going here. Number one, it's a... They're a couple that people like to fuck because it's, it's good to be seen that you hooked up with this couple. Okay, so you have a status fuck situation going on, number one. Number two, no one seems to have a problem with the fact that this month, these motherfuckers are running around out giving Yelp reviews, okay, which we'll get to, we'll, we'll cross that bridge in just a minute. There's so much wrong with this, it's not even funny. Number three, okay, fucked in Atlanta, there's no way once, once the rumors get out there, okay, we can't help you in terms of, like, to solve this problem. In terms of, you can't make this go away without fucking everybody that says, you're a bad fuck. <laughs> Come here, let me prove you wrong. I mean, there is, we'll talk about it. But, I mean, to a degree, I, I want to, where do you want to start with this? I, I want to start with the things that, that they, that with them first, and then work our way back to the other deeper problems. <laughs> There's just so much going on. How many times have you fucked somebody fuzzy and no one gives a rat's ass? Well, that, that's just it. I mean, a dude uh, being fuzzy, who cares? Yeah. Well, I mean, there are people that care, and there are times that well, I have been self-conscious about it. We all have, but when if you're really into it, yeah, they don't care. Well, look, here's the deal, and I'm not trying to be a dick, but well, let's just call it what it is. If you've got uh, 10 inch dick and you're fuzzy well no one's gonna notice if you've got a yeah, an inch notice. and a half dick if you've got a two inch dick it's gonna be a little more of an obvious no i don't want a nose tickler but right but it, so i mean i can see that but it, hey you're fucking for status well it, and that, that was i actually said that to them i actually said wait a minute so you were doing this for status like no no we've always really liked them Okay, number one. Like them personally or like them? Did not know the person. Or just interested in them. It was Because you're going for a drink. That tells me you really don't know them. Well, and, and, okay, so there's the first thing. Number one, okay, they told me that, fucked and Lana told me they're, they're, they're well known, they're a popular couple. So if they're busy telling everybody how you rate it as a fuck, I'm going to guess they talk about everybody that. They give Yelp reviews on everybody. So I'm going to guess that you should have had a clue if they're the type that play on the first date. Because it doesn't sound to me like they think much of discretion. So they're going to share whatever they go do. Mm -hmm. They obviously know they're a status fuck. And are apparently are okay with it. I mean, the, this other couple, not the people writing them to us. So the first thing is, here's the deal. You know what? There is nobody in the lifestyle that should be as important to you as your spouse. So... If if a couple wants to meet for drinks and because they felt like this was their one chance, they finally got this opportunity, they were going to jump on it, then you need to do yourself up and be prepared accordingly. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. Now, I feel horrible for fucked in Atlanta because here's what they told me that they didn't put in the, the letter. 
hygiene. I mean, they, they, it, that's that's part. Not only are they, this is going on, he's they're a bad fuck. She's getting up because she didn't. She only half-ass freshened herself up after a busy day. Well, in your and my terms, that would be sweaty cooter. And so it's getting kind of hard it's, to have a sweaty cooter this time of year. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Have it's a cold. As if you work at a gym, I don't know. Fuck off. <laughs> Still, the thing is, is okay. If you've listened to the show, you know that we have talked about this before about a having a sex bag and ways to like freshen yourself well, up if, if you're, you're eating. Caught off guard. Well, I guess they'll go if out for dinner and drinks. You have like a few minutes to freshen up. Well, so one, okay, we've okay. talked about this before. Carry stuff in your I'd purse. be in the car one. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I, the, the thing is, is that, take, look, this is what you have to tell people. You're not, you're not a hooker, okay? You're not a fucking, it, you're not a call girl. You're not a call couple. They, oh shit, we gotta go. They call and sit right now. You're not Uber well, delivering your pussy. If you're meeting at somebody's house or a hotel, you say, "Give me a few seconds to freshen up." Well, you but, can but, go to the bathroom and you know change the time you're gonna meet. Hey, you know what? Oh, we can't meet at six thirty. We can meet at seven thirty. Right. Don't be that fucking enamored. I mean, are well, you? There's enough you, reasons that you could have had a, a few moments to freshen. Part up. of it is be an adult and take charge. Just a scotch. Who said? Who starts a rumor just because she didn't have time to clean up beforehand that she has a they're a status that about dirty? Couple. I don't care who the fuck you are. Well, I okay, yes, you and I both know that that's <laughs> asinine. But you know what? Does it get? If someone has an odor, does it? Can me personally, if there was a status thing, and they thought they were that high mighty, they wouldn't stand a fucking chance in hell. Well, I, I, yeah, exactly. That's that's part. <laughs> that's of my it. opinion. But, I take the but the thing, them. but the thing, no, but the thing is, is at this point in time, you, you have to have control of yourself. It's look. I know we're all fucking Zoom meeting out, and we're all fucking. You know, we we want to get back to actually touching and fucking and doing all those things. I get it. Control, control. You can. You're an adult. You know what? No one is such a catch that you have to drop everything, totally throw your game totally off, and run out the door because oh my god, this is your one chance. If it if that's the way it's going to go down, if you have one chance and that's your only chance to ever hook up with them, you you're not missing anything. And and here here's the other thing that goes with this. Look, I'm going to guess, and I never got to get into this with them because of the time restraints, but. If they're telling everybody that you're a shitty fuck, that means you've heard them talking about other people that they fucked. Think it through for just a fucking second. If everybody, if, if how if, did they find out they were being talked about? Obviously, they talked to somebody. I didn't get a response back on that. I don't know. I don't know if they, how they how they heard on that part. I, but here's the thing: if they're talking, if someone's talking shit about. They have. I guarantee you're not the first shitty fuck they've had. We've been in this lifestyle ten years. You know what? It's easy to find shitty fucks. Okay. I mean, it's not like, oh my god, we had this rare, horrible fuck. What? No. It's it. Every time, every time the clothes come off, it's a fifty-fifty crapshoot. Yeah. It is what it is. So the majority of the time, they're good. The, major, the majority of times you're gonna they, have you're gonna have bad experiences. There's the majority of the time there's something good about every fuck. Yes. Very rarely you're going to find a complete, just everything from start to finish sucked goats. Very rarely. Mm -hmm. Okay? but the, You have them, though. You you do have them, but I've here's the thing. I've had them a time or two. Oh, yeah. The thing is, I guarantee you these fucking assholes have talked about other couples. Oh, well, yeah. And, and here's the thing. Don't put... I don't care how hot they are. I don't care who they are. If they're going to talk shit about other people, whether it be good or bad... You really need to think about whether or not you should take and and hook up with them because they're going to do it to you also. Well, it you know here here's an example on that one just from this weekend. Well, from the weekend, right? I had an ex coworker yes. message me, and I'm like, okay, what does he want? <laughs> 
just doing general chit chat and then starts talking about how he has naked pictures of this coworker and this coworker and this coworker. And I'm like, why would I send you one? You just sent me pictures of this one. That's right. I, 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 exactly. Because you, something triggered you in. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> You're sharing it with me. You're sure as fuck going to share if it with you everybody get a else, you know. Yeah. If, look, if, if somebody sends you, if there's an email and it says, click here, win a free prize, and your your friend clicks on it and they get a virus, what's probably going to happen when you click on it? You're, you're, you're going to get a virus. Uh, okay, so uh, we got a couple comments. Amy puts, I've been damn lucky w with my fucks. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, <laughs> and Shelly put, remember, we're talking about East Coast. Atlanta, I know it shouldn't be any different, but... It is Midwest isn't a status fuck driven. I would agree with that to a degree. To to a degree. Okay, I didn't think about that. I, I mean, I I think that I there is still status fucks that go on in the Midwest. That's sad. It, well, it, here's the thing. I think there are some people that think they have more status than they they really do. Nobody should be a status fuck. Well, one day they're gonna dry up, and they're gonna be <laughs> the old people on the block, and they're gonna want the new, fresh, young. <laughs> Yeah. Let, hey, let me put. Okay, let's put it. Let's put it a different way. You know, unless 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 my net worth starts with a B or an, maybe an M, like million, I'm not hot to twenty anything. Okay, I haven't been hot to twenty anything. But you might be for, a sugar daddy for a while. But if I'm a sugar dad, maybe. Are yeah, they yeah. talking about my sister? <laughs> maybe to a T. Uh, so, the, 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 but the, okay. So number one, fucks in Atlanta. Fucked in Atlanta. Think before you you fuck. That's number one of them. Number two, look if if people are starting to talk shit. However, you found out that people there the you you got the bad Yelp review. Okay. You need to just ignore and whatever. That circle of people, if if someone's going to base what type of fuck you are, or, or worried more about what type of fuck you are than what type of person you are, then you know what? God damn it, I forgot to turn that on. Uh, then, then you know what? I you, you, don't, <laughs> you don't really want, you don't want to be a part of that with that group. No. I mean, you really, no. you really don't, but there. I wouldn't let it get. I wouldn't let it get to you. Don't let that it get much. to. Don't let it get to you, but but learn from this. Right. You know, uh, okay, and Shannon put, uh, we will not play or continue conversation with anyone that talks about others. Kissing and telling you is not cool, and that's exactly right. Discretion, 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 discretion. One time when we were really new, we were, we had hooked up with this couple. It was a fluke, but it was fun. Yes, it and was. And we hooked up multiple times. Yes, it was. Yes, we did. They, we started talking about something oh. like, uh, well, we were talking about uh, websites and people, and then they get on there and they go, oh, well, that guy, you don't want to hook up with him. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. You're pointing him out. Yeah. What? He's clutchy. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, 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 and the thing was, it was an instant. It was after it was after we'd played. It was like the second mm -hmm. or third time we'd played with him. It was after that. And it was an instant turnoff because then there's that little part of you that goes in your brain going, what are they saying about us? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, why? Why would you? We, why would you do? That? We, Maybe they felt like they could, but you still don't. You still don't <laughs> just trust people and a bad mind review. Uh, yeah. Well, and, and 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 here's the other thing is, you know what? The, we've had this happen before, where a friend we heard they were, we knew they were going to go hook up with somebody we'd hooked up with. It was not a fun fuck for us. It wasn't a great fuck. Whatever. It was okay. And and we're they like, knew no well, they they knew they had been at the event when we were like getting ready to leave so they knew we had hooked up with them wasn't we had told anybody they just it, one of those things and we're like have a great time have fun afterwards they came to us going she came up to me she goes why didn't you tell me he was like that and I'm like everybody has a different experience you might be into that I was not yeah and that's just it we we, we talk about it all the time with the kink side of things you know don't don't. Uh, don't yuck my yum type stuff. So who, you know, maybe you're really into it. So who are we to plant any seeds? Plus, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that there are some people that we've had sex with that at the end of the night, we did the, the standard 
hug and, and, and you know give the kisses and it was great and thank you so much we all had a great time and the next day we all sent each other the the great fuck you know message afterwards that you do in the swinger lifestyle and i'm sure that on their way home the wife turned to the husband and said you know i mean he's a nice enough guy but i don't want that fat sweaty pig fucking rolling around on me again or or you know or he moans funny or he fucking twists weird or his dick jammed me wrong or I, who knows i mean there was probably something I, I know that, well, I mean, I'm just being real real here. I, I'm not, you don't have to marry me, you know, yeah, no. to have a, a decent time the one night. So it, it, it's one of those things. But, oh, my God, fuck Atlanta. Don't put yourself in that situation. Don't, don't, don't. And, and really, there is no, I, I'm just going to be honest, there's no fucking excuse for getting out somewhere and not being... Um, having somebody be able to hammer you for being unclean. Right. There's just not. Look, the only time that I can see that being something that's actually legit, we, if you do campouts, it can be more challenging. But even then, we talk about it. We talk about it all the time. And a lot of people do. Part of your sex bags. Yeah, uh, but you get is, caught up in the moment. And I get it. Yeah, I but that, 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 was, that, was, that was running out the door... That was just being, like, 12. We're going to get laid by the popular kids. We're going to get laid by the popular kids. And, and you went shooting out the door. And then and and now and now you've got a bad moan review or a bad Yelp review floating around out there. And it could have been prevented. Just, why are you looking at me like that? It feels like you're judging me. What what <laughs> What is it you want to say? I don't. I'm just listening. <laughs> well, am I being mean? No. Am I being unfair? No. All right, well, fuck it. <laughs> I, no, I I get it. Just don't worry about it, but learn from it. For the love of everything good and fucking holy. This is this is the part. Look, in the lifestyle, you're going to do shit, and you're going to fuck it up. Okay? Because we all do. That is that is the way it works. Uh, Shelly has a good point. I think the, the blame lies equally with both couples. I would agree with that. Yeah, I would I would agree that there's a lot of there's a lot of blame to go around here for both couples, but the the thing is in a lot of it's okay to fuck it up. Once is okay to fuck it up. Right. It's it's, and we see this all the time. People making the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again. Could you lose more status, Fox? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If they get around yapping to everybody about it, yeah. but the thing is, is you find the ones that you're interested in yeah no shit in, you know what you do look through their review file find all the other shitty fucks and see you know and then like have like a shitty fuck party that would be the, that's exactly what i would do i'm such a dick i am i am here's how much of a dick i am i would find anybody else that they've talked shit about so let's say that couple's name is i don't, I don't, I don't know sally <laughs> sally it's the sally couple okay and and, and i would have a oh Sally said we're not good enough party and invite other but couples that they bashed on and it'd be a, a and I would make a huge deal of it. So it would got back them having a party of all their shitty fucks. And have I mean, a like party. how we have hate groups. Right, exactly, That's... yeah. Exactly. So and I would do that because I'm such a dick just to just to prove the point. You know, and then you guys can rate each other on how much you all suck. <laughs> get get back to them. They could come and judge, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's just, yeah, you know. <laughs> Party revenge, revenge, revenge fuck. fuck. Party. Fuck yeah. yeah. Send them pictures and stuff too. I would. Just saying. But, you know, just little just little things like that. That's what I do. Okay, hey, we're at the midway point already, right, aren't we? Oh my God, my eye is like, I've had a muscle spasm on my eyelid all day. You know what, you know what that's from? <laughs> what did you just do? I'm trying to think of what the whole <laughs> sexual comment back is. Let's see, not enough cum. Um, no. No what? <laughs> no, I think there's a muscle thing. You should go see a doctor. Oh, a coffee. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't believe you think it's do something dirty. Were you looking at my other question? No. Oh, okay. Well, you couldn't see because your eyes going all fucking weird. You said it's like it's Halloween. Yeah. Here, you know, hey, hey, wait, actually, actually, hold on. Does that help it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just checking. Next okay. time you do that, take the ring off, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, sorry. sorry about that. 
<laughs> you I don't know. Right I, well, here's there. the thing. I don't want you to scare your. I don't want you to scare your boyfriend tomorrow. You're all like fucking. I do not need a call from your boyfriend or your work tomorrow. Going, we think she's stroking out. I'm <laughs> just saying. That'll give me some hay mail. You watch. Okay, uh, halftime. We're what, half about time. me stroking out? Yeah, making a joke about stroking out. Oh, I'll get hay mail on that. But, well, you know, you're in the 90th percentile of a cardiac event. What could happen? <laughs> wow. Yeah, factory reset. <laughs> the top row on the head, the easy button. Uh, okay, hey, so uh, full swap radio, kids. You know what? It's the place to be. Everybody's listening. Even the FCC. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the fucking feds. Uh, so we already got our first complaint. Yay, that's how you know you're doing it right. It's the Casbah way. Uh, so check them out. Check it out today. Full Swap Radio. It's We are adding more shows. We're, we're making changes. We're doing stuff to do to make it more exciting, better, 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 whatever. We're going to be doing our shows live on there soon uh, once we get our own shit squared away. So check it out. And also, don't forget to visit our website, crazycasbah.com. Uh, check it out. We, it, we, it was involved in the fucking hack fest. Oh, That's I tell awesome. You what, this, this week, week yeah, has kind it's of been, been hell. Yeah. So, uh, but it's it's well, it's in the process of back up and running. We're working on some stuff with that. Uh, so make sure you visit all of our stuff. Uh, you know, find us places. Search, find us. Just go crazy, Casba, Casba, crazy truth, and see what comes up. I was typing on a keyboard. What in the fuck? Really? <laughs> Do we need to be factory anything. reset again? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anyway, so do that. Be, it'll be fun. I don't have any fun voices. I haven't had any voices. I, I, we need Darn to it. Some... <laughs> Fucking cooter. We need to get some more fun voices. When are we going to... When, when? Actually, let's take a quick second. When no, are we going to get... Away. When are we going to get your boy toy in here for an interview? Hi. Welcome to Casba. Crazy Truth. We'd like to interview you so you can talk about Miss Amanda's cooter and how it plays out at work. <laughs> Good luck with that. What You could probably make that happen. Why are you looking at me like I'm that? Am I going to put a bag over his head? <laughs> well, don't tell him I'm going to be here. That'll be the first step. <laughs> then, then, He's talked to you. Well, I know, but have him come in. Just be like, hey... Can you help us with something techie-wise? And then we'll surprise him and put a microphone in front of him. It'll be fun. What could possibly go wrong? That would be awesome. Hi. How are you? Want to talk about Miss Amanda? That'd be great. Okay. So, hey, you know what? If you <laughs> want to... if you bold. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If you want to... If you want to... Uh, so, all of you listening, so this is very important. If you want... To us to interview Miss Amanda's boyfriend on the air, you need to send emails and letters saying, Miss Amanda, we want to hear your boy toy. Okay? If you do that, we get enough of them, she'll do it. Don't worry. Don't look like that. We, yeah, we Look, it's we got to give the fans what they want. The fans obviously want it. You talk to them? And you oh, I'll fucking them? straight up fucking tell them. I have, I have no problem at all. I'll be like, look, here's the deal, dude. Her pussy is fucking, obviously, the bomb. Her pussy is obviously addictive. And obviously, you like being in it. So, here's the deal. I need you to do one little thing for me. Just come over. It'll take about a half hour of your time. No worries. Just make them off camera? Well, the thing, yeah. I mean, the thing. I'll pay for the hotel again. How about that? <laughs> Jesus. We'll only have half the show with you on. If the other half, I'll finish. And you guys can go do, go do, go do what you do. Oh, whatever. It would be the most exciting noise thing in the other room. Silence. Cricket, cricket, cricket. You're, I'm, you guys don't, do you fuck crazy at the hotel? You, you guys have to understand, before I do the second question, when, when in the past, when when Miss Amanda and I have, have hooked up with people at hotel parties and stuff, mm -hmm. Amanda likes to go first. No, that's just how it goes. It is Amanda likes to go first. That's just how it goes. Do you really goes. want to get in the bed after, after me and whomever has been in the bed? Okay, good point. Because they, she, she can, she can fuck and 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 have a great time, and it's like the bed maybe has a wrinkle in it. And, and, but and here's the, and it's not a rip on the sex. I mean, you that's you're having great sex. You come good. Everybody had a great time, right? Yep. Right. Okay. So then when when 
when I go in there, if you can remember back in the 70s, the Samsonite commercial with the monkey throwing the luggage around and shit, I mean, it pretty much looks like it was a, like, uh, it looks like it was all star wrestling. It was WWE, man. You would think that y'all were fighting blankets and everything else, and getting thrown shit, off the bed. Look, man, and shit, just like holy shit! shit. It, it, we, it, yeah, we get it on. Get it on. I'm like, ready? What the fight. hell happened in here? <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, is it's it's just it's just the difference in our in our style. So what happens when when Miss Amanda and I fuck? Uh, what happens is is Not that a damn thing? Is your knee? Well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just neat and tidy at that point. No, way. you kick blanket. I kick blanket, and but it's like it cancels out my craziness and your calmness, and it's equal in the middle. So it, we ruffle shit, even though we had sex, but it's not like... Am I your like yin-yang? Yin <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> you want to lick my yin-yang? What? Okay. Everybody's like, two beds, two beds, two beds. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> we've we even bed. had two beds, haven't we? we haven't. Or are we just, just one king bed? We've We've done all the above. We've done different. It's just funny. It you, people walk in after like you fucking like did did, did Amanda fuck if I should no. Up there with was that, one time it was like a half hour. And we were going at it like three times or yeah. whatever. It was like quick. And you're like, did you even have did sex? Did you guys have sex? I mean, what happened? Not even the bed's not even messed up. I mean, I like felt bad. I was like, oh my god, did they no, even have sex? No, it was awesome. We even ended up sideways on the bed. We just don't make a mess. Yeah, and then later. When I was up there, when you guys, when you came in, after about the same amount of time, like, there were no pillows on the bed, the blankets were on both sides of the floor, the sheet was all twisted up and shit, and I was like, Jesus Christ. So, you had, well, you had a couple. Yeah. Where the women run away, they just keep inching towards the headboard until yeah. they're hitting just, the headboard. Just, just so you know, if you try to squirm away when you're going to come... I hook your legs. Why do you? Why do people? Why do women do that? I don't know. Because I, I hook their don't. Legs. I Bring hook, it on. I hook their legs. I want the orgasm. I know when to expect it. I'm yeah. not gonna fight you. I don't run away. Yeah. yeah. I get pushed by yeah. thrusting, but I put my arms up there to no. hit. I hook. I hook on. If, if you try to, if you try to squirm out of it, I hook your. I hook your legs. That's what I do. Anyway. You hook my legs. So. I don't have to because you don't get, try to get away. I mean, that sounds horrible. Right now, people are going, document that fucking shit. It's not get away, no, get away. No, it's not but everybody. Either. It's not get away. It's just they squirm. It, 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 yeah, it's excited. There's <laughs> been a couple God. that didn't squirm away. Right, right. But, I mean, it's not like they're not trying to squirm away. just how they... They just come different. It doesn't fucking matter. We're not having this conversation. Let's go on to the next question. <laughs> Apparently, question. we are. Fuck me. Right. All right, so let's switch out back to my Santa readers. Here we go. All right. Or Jerry so, Garcia. So Jerry, that's exactly. Yeah, no you shit. did it. Uh, <laughs> kick the headboards off the wall. Holy shit. Uh, How do you kick headboards off a wall? I thought they were bolted on. They're that, tight. That, mean, that means you're getting fucking pounded. Uh, yeah, you know what? Here, you know what? Here's what's here's what's really funny. When you reach a point in your life, and I do this, we all do it anymore. If you're swinging around the time, you'll do it. If you stay at a hotel, the first thing you do is walk over and check that headboard to see what it, everybody does. Now. Remember when they used to be the vibrating beds? I wonder yeah. what that was like to fuck in those. I don't know. I oh my god, why is that guy walking in with seventy five dollars in quarters? Uh, okay, all right. So this is from Bob and Melody in Tennessee, and that's not their real names. Wait, what? I know. No, it could have been. No, they told me it wasn't. Pretty cool names. So yeah. just... Well, they told me it wasn't, though. No. Okay. And, and when I read the question, you'll understand why. Okay? <sighs> okay. People and drama. We've been in lifestyle for almost a year. We went to our first house party. Everything was going great. Bob was having sex with a very attractive redhead with big boobs. So far, so good. Good job, Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, she wanted Bob to come on her tits. Bob and the girl had been joking around and having fun all night. Bob is a jokester. <laughs> so when Bob came, he shot some on her tits. And as a joke, he aimed a little bit higher to get just a little bit on her face but it got on her cheek and she started her cheek and she started uh yelling about it in her eye needless to say everyone got all bent out of shape and we were asked to leave it was a joke don't you think they were overreacting <laughs> 
serious. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> because I'm not a dude. <laughs> do you have any control? Well, you can. You do to a degree. It's like a know, cannon. Shut up. You know to a degree that if you aim for a certain area, that's not exactly where it's going to go, is it? Well, no. no but because you, you're it, like, one time you went, wow, that shot high. That well, got clear but, it, but it's all about how where you point your where you point the gun is where you got a better shot of going. Yeah, but if you point it for the chest and it splatters or... But it, he did it on purpose. He joking. He thought he was being funny. I thought he was going to squirt a little bit on her face being funny. And Angel right off the bat, not funny. And they can't understand why people got all pissed off. I don't so know what, if I'd so, blow it that far out of proportion, so, well, but I don't want it to So face. when I reached out to them, she goes, well, she said she got it in, in her eye, but we think it's just on her cheek. And she just got, um, you know, she's just being, they were just being a bitch. But apparently this girl is very adamant about, see, since on purpose, no excuse. I, I asked them, I said, how, you've been in a year, this is our first house party. Um. Their first house party. And think about this, and, and because, you know, there's a lot, she specifically, so, n number one, no, they had every right to get pissed off. You killed the mood of the evening. It's not, shooting come on people where they don't want it is not funny. We know people that will throw up at the side of come. We know people. I mean, it's it's a consent thing. You would lose your fucking mind if if a guy goes, "Where do you want me to come?" and you go, "Anywhere not my face." And then they thought they were being funny and shot come on your face. Okay, pause. I would be living. Right. But I wouldn't show it at a party. No, but I would. Because you would turn and look at me, and I would be like, dude, what the fuck? She told you no. I still wouldn't let it escalate at a party, because then that could make you look bad, too. Yeah, well, I you wouldn't. You would, you would walk away. I can I can see you walk away, but you would be fucking pissed. You wouldn't pissed. stand a fucking other fucking chance. You wouldn't go to another party with them anywhere around. Mm -mm. You'd be so... That's just how you deal with it. I understand. Actually, I like that response. I like the, the couple that he spewed on there. I like the rest of the. I like that the party kicked his ass out. I didn't be, know. Be, yeah, they kicked. They, they, they kicked him out, and they wanted. They said the gals like, "Don't you think they were overreacting?" No, I don't. Because here's the deal: she purposely told you no, and then you did it. That's not funny. Now, okay, so we're getting to everything. So again, Amy's like you, kind of agree. Wouldn't wouldn't want to throw a fit in public about it. Uh, but it, it's it, it, it's more, I think, the thing of consent. And we talk about new people make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. But teaching consent is an important thing. Here's a lesson they're never going to forget. Because they're not going to get a lot of invites at a house party. Not with that circle of friends, too. And you know that other couple? They need to hook up with the other couple. They're, they got a bad Yelp review floating around about them, too. Now... Well, because, I mean, think about it. Think about what, how much it could be, you know. Okay, so shall I put, uh, she should have given him a chance to apologize if it was her, if their first house party. They should have been taken aside and explained that that wasn't cool. And I, and I agree, yes. Th th there needed to be some punishment with it. Based off, and I only can go off of her email, okay. Because I, I would have loved, I wanted to talk to them on the phone. I wanted to hear her voice. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, hear the tone in she it. sounded kind of cunty. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I think she That's probably might the be downfall of email and texting. Right, and she she might might be just a little bit embarrassed with it, but you know, you you just you you can't just randomly spray spoo wherever you want to. No, because there's a lot of women that don't like it on the face. Well, think about this. Let's say let's let's go instead of the face. This is a, a, probably a far-fetched thought process, but she wants it on her tits. She's fertile. And he decides to be cute and funny, squirt some on her tits, and then go and squirt some down on her cooter. Now it's not so fucking funny. 
Now it's not just a red eye and a, and a swim. Like should be using a condom. That's a lot of people do, but then they still want them to pull the condom uh, off to come on to them. Come on the tits. But I mean, so you can see where it's like, it. in this case, it was just the eye. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. But, you know, and, and yes, and, common, and, and Angela, you're right, common courtesy. I mean, people have to understand it. I guess it would be different if she would have said, come wherever you want. Right. If she would have said, come wherever you want. Now, I'm still a believer because I've been married to you long enough. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of women that might at a few moments say, come wherever you want. That doesn't mean porn face shot. <laughs> I would still go, I'm going to, because my first thing would be, well, goody, I'm going to get to come on her face. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I would say, so, you're, so I can come on your face. Just to like double check to make sure to make sure that that's cool because at that point in time now it's like playing fucking like the cornhole game i'm trying to hit you know that there's targets if it's cool if it's you know so even if she said come wherever you want she didn't say that she said a specific area mm -hmm. so i mean it's like you, you just i don't know what possesses people okay number one if you think you're funny you're probably not. <laughs> well, I mean, true. seriously, very true. You know, just because, just because you know, you you have a good rapport. When when bodily fluids start flying around, it's like. Mm -hmm. I just don't know why you would do that. <laughs> what? Why you do what? Why we, why you would do why why the guy would even jokingly do it on the face because he's new and he thinks he's in a fucking porn and then and then okay and this is the exact reason why I'd ask Amy hits it now if it comes in the hair might throw a fit in public it's true coming a girl's hair I've gone oh you've got my hair and that's at night <laughs> yeah yeah exactly because let's face it you don't want to leave a party with a big crunchy spot on the side of your head. But it's, what about Mary? And, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The thing is, is okay, th there are people watching the show that I've known, that we've known for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. That I can joke with about anything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We've joked about a lot of stuff. I wouldn't pull that joke with them. And, mm -hmm. and, and I feel like I've got a really good relationship with some of the people that I could really joke with. I would not joke with them about something like that. Right. Because I, I, because I know that some of them would probably take and eliminate my other nut if I did that. And I mean, he's kind of lucky. He's kind of lucky she didn't just punch him right in the fucking junk. I mean, seriously. She could have grabbed that motherfucker and just went, ah, and chomped that cocksucker. Cocksucker. Well, it had been a cock, been a cock biter. Yeah. Well, but seriously, I mean, you know. Yeah, agree. I guess the big. I mean, I I personally am not one to make a scene. But how much have I had to drink? Because <laughs> that tends for me to get a little drama vocal. going. Yeah. You don't get drama going. But You're I more vocal. Enough to cause that much of a scene. I'd say it's okay. And then he would stand a chance in hell and I'd ignore him. So, but, yeah, exactly. But the, the thing that I'll keep going back to is with, that's with come on the face. The, the bigger problem that this is, and this is what's indicative of the lifestyle that we fight all the time, is that this time it's joking around with, Shooting a little cum on the face. And bodily fluids. The next time it's, if, if nothing happens to this guy, the next time he thinks he has a great thing and he thinks he's joking around, he sticks his dick up a girl's ass. That's not oh, a joke. Oh, slip. No, <laughs> well, that, but, but I mean, that's just, it, I mean, can't you see that? It, seriously, it's, this is like, it's the puppy syndrome. Uh, yeah, see, there. Andrew's like, yeah, I would probably make a small scene, Kurt would make a bigger one. That's me. I, I'd fucking kill the guy. I would, he, I am straight. That dude, I would have grabbed that dude by the pecker and taken him, thrown his ass out by his dick. Uh, but the thing is, is it, it really, if you look at the bigger problem with it, it's like, it's kind of like when a guy just grabs a chick's butt and doesn't make a big deal of it, right? Well, it's a, don't do that, It was, but it was just my butt. But it's, 
it's indicative of a bigger problem. Sure. If they'll do that, well, I don't want you to come in my mouth. As long as you don't come in my mouth, okay, he 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 he, squirt squirt squirt, and next thing you know, you're fucking swallowing a fucking load of babies. That ain't gonna be <laughs> right. Happen. Or it's I'm gonna you know, oh I got it from behind. Oh yeah no you know no I don't do it. Oh sorry got the wrong hole. That ain't funny. It's all fun and games till that shit. Well, let me see that actually happen. Well, it, the thing is, that can happen by truly being an accident. Right. But Jimmy Joker over here, who thinks it's funny to pull this kind of shit, every chick's going to be like, uh, you know what? I'm thinking just a little bit about whether or not we're going to take it. Beth, if he too. got her in the eye and he happens to have an STD. Well, yeah. It, yeah. Herpes of the eye, herpes of the throat, those are all real things. So, you know, you want to talk about your first fucking fun experience going to the doctor to let them know that you're in the lifestyle is fucking because you have herpes of the eye because some jack wagon fucking thought it'd be funny to shoot cum on your face. You know, I mean, look, I, here's the deal. If, if, if a girl gives me the green light to come on her face, I'm fucking in. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I don't know if I just turned like a 13 year old again. You have someone that wants it. And, 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 and you, you want to know what's really sad. I'm going to say this because this happened. I was so fucking excited about this. There's there's a a, a, a a very lovely lady that I played with that is very much into that. And the first time, the first time I played with her, I couldn't come. I was like, I wanted to come on her. I was she so fucking. So she did, and she wanted me to, and and she's very much into that, and it was pre discussed, and whatever. And I was so excited about it. I you could have take hooked a Hoover. A, Kirby vacuum into my dick and it wouldn't have pulled the cum out. I was like, are you fucking serious? I mean, I had no problem being hard off. I could not come out. I was so excited. Thing. Right. Now, I, since then, I've gotten that opportunity to, to do that. And and with her, it, again, it's still pre yes, that's still what I want. And it is fucking fun and it is awesome and whatever. And so if a girl says to me, I want you to fucking just blow a load all over my face, get in my eyes, up my nose, cover my hair, fucking. Write your name with come on my face. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to be fucking. Because it's a no with me. Right. <laughs> and, and, and that's part of that. And well, that's part that's of the joy of, of the it, lifestyle. Yeah. That's part of the fun, right? So the thing is, is, but, oh my God, it, it, it you just, so no, Bob and, and Melody, here's the deal. No, they weren't wrong. They, they might've reacted a little extreme, but overall, you're going to be better off if you fully intend to stay in the lifestyle. By taking the lesson you learned there and taking it hard. And Bob needs to quit being a joker. Because guess well, what? Well, you can be a joker with certain things, but not Yeah, the joke's gonna be on him because he's not gonna get to, he's not gonna get to put his dick anywhere uh if he doesn't, you know not the thirteen year old jokes. Yeah, exactly. Uh yeah, right. They need to be taken aside, talked about boundaries. That's right, it's not funny, guessing throwing them out. Yeah, it might be a little on the extreme. Uh, some people won't get it until they're met with those kinds of consequences. And that's the truth. And that's a great point. So, you know, again, I saw that question and and I was just like. I was like, at first, I'm like, God, haven't we heard this? And then you kept going like, oh. I, uh, well, the thing is, is here's the deal. Sometimes we, we get questions that you hope. This is the type of thing I wish you could say you weren't going to run into or ever hear about in a lifestyle. But people doing things without consent is a very real itch in the lifestyle. So that's why stuff comes up. It's just funnier when it's, you know, come in the eye. But, I mean, it's not funny, but it, but it lends itself for jokes for me. But that's beside the point. So there you go. That's the only reason I don't like it in the face. The only reason? So if I promise not to get in your eye? Oh, you'd still get in the eye. No, matter. I wouldn't. Trust me. I, but if yeah. I put... God damn it! If I Would put my, if stop I put it? if I put my dick in the, the, the hole right in your nose, so I can shoot it straight up your nose. I swear to God, it's worth a try. If you don't mind, <laughs> consider it a sign of right. <laughs> I don't even like to put sprays up my nose. Like, <laughs> clean out your sinuses. No, it <laughs> would. It stopped. <laughs> just for a while all right hey you know what we gotta go what a great place to go wow another show topic <laughs> why men seem to mistake one hole from either so often all right amy that is gonna be a show because their aim time. success shut it stop that's another show she's used to strap on it's not easy to find <laughs>
<laughs> oh shit. All right, so again, a shout out to our sponsors again, ASNLifestyleMagazine.com. Three million and one readers can't be wrong. They're not. It's B3 million and one. Go and vote for us and all the different stuff there as well. Uh, tits sag and balls droop, but don't do it. Brains will last forever. So be all over it. Read, read, read. ASNLifestyleMagazine.com. Remember, hey, you just listened to the show. You're going to read the mag. So go, go, go. Go and buy some swag at FullSwapShop.com today. Uh, get all of your cool stuff for a multitude of shows, including this one, at FullSwapShop.com. So, doing it the only way I know how, the only way I want to, and the only way I ever motherfucking will, Casma Style, out. Bye.